Hey Kiara, how's it going? I'm melting. You're doing stuff? Yep, well, aside from melting and sort of sleepy from our work this morning, but otherwise good. I have a feeling I'm going to be quite sweaty this stream, so you'll have to bear with me. Anyways, I'm just going to get my link sorted out. I ended up finishing a bit late at work because some of our retired gentlemen from the, over the road decided to come down and complain constantly. And rather than let, let him get back to work, he just tried to give his oh so brilliant ideas on how the store should be run. Oh, hey Cat Bat, doing a workload, but you're here. Oh, thanks, giving Cat Bat the shout out, Kiara. Speaking of, could you give yourself a shout out, Kiara? Anyway, I'm just going to be quiet for a second and try and get the uh, links posted as quick as possible. since we're running a few minutes late already. Thanks for the shout out, Kiara. Yep, I'll say one thing. I'm really excited to stream the last part of um, Breath and Fire on Monday because obviously I'll be able to wear the uh, cat cosplay I've been putting get together for the last couple of weeks. And uh, I was pretty happy with how it turned out on Wednesday. So I'm pretty glad I managed to get that done just before it. Well, I absolutely could not get any of it done today because it is boiling although to be fair they're saying it's going to be a storm over the weekend so uh, obviously your mileage may vary but I quite like storms as long as they don't um, injure anyone or destroy it, damage any infrastructure. And they tend to be quite mild in this part of the world. Oh yeah, hopefully the uh, there's not too much noise from my uh, computer's calling fan right now. Because, as I said, it is warm.
Exactly, Kiara. Storms are fine as long as they don't destroy anything. Almost done with the links. Okay, we're ready to roll. Let's just test her cameras working. Heidi, hi. You'll have to excuse the hair, but it's too warm to wear it any other way. Oh, before we start, I'm just going to want to show you all this, which arrived uh, today. I just jumped on eBay and uh, these literally only cost a few pounds, but this is basically just a tray for taking uh, dental impressions. Because obviously I've got an entire bag of Algonate left and uh, once you open it, it starts going, it starts expiring after a few weeks. So, I thought I might as well use it and just take a cast of my teeth. It might come ha come in ha It might come in handy later. Cats, tidy hair, unacceptable. Well, you know, I have to look professional. In that, technically, I do have a profession. I mean, it's not streaming; it's other things, but. Anyways, let's see if uh, my computer can handle Phoenix Wright without turning into a pile of um, ash. So yeah, today's drink is actually gonna is actually iced coffee I've got in my mug, but I have uh, got a thermos of a, of hot tea just for later in my stream when my throat's probably going to need soothing a bit and hopefully um, it might have cooled down a bit. A pile of ash is what you call your social life. Laughs and then cries. Oh, Kiara. Yeah, I'll have to remember to adjust my camera a bit later. Oh, hey, Jan. You're just in time. Okay, put that in. Well, disable preview. And let's begin. Okay. Oh, it's only course past. Plenty of time. So, uh, just a quick recap. that's loud so quick recap um, iris not to be confused with um, the very lovely iris who's in my D&D game is the um, twin sister the good twin sister of Phoenix's evil ex-girlfriend 
who has been um, recently executed and it turns out has been imper briefly been impersonating Iris by uh, by Phoenix's assistant mayor who's a medium and physically transforms when she's channeling someone Yeah, we shout you out every time, which makes you want to stream again, but your OBS setup's a mess right now. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, well, well, anyway, long story short, we've um, proved that she is not who she said she was. We've got the real Iris right here, and now we just need to solve the murder and go home. Oh, hey, Vamp. Kudos for streaming in this heat. Well, what else would I do? Feel sorry for myself? I can do that on stream. Wait, no, I can't. No self defaming allowed. Oh well. But anyway, yeah. Uh, I'm basically uh, forcing myself to play D&D later on, so I might as well uh, stream in this heat as well. Anyway, I hope you're having a nice uh, Friday vamp. Nessie! Thanksgiving everyone, the shout outs, Kiara. Yep, yeah, I didn't catch your stream last night, but I think you were streaming more beyond, weren't you? Oh, anyway, I better get on with this. I'm truly sorry about everything. You're working so hard to defend me, but I was missing all day. And we didn't even have a chance to talk. She's right. When I met Iris at the training hall yesterday, they had already switched places, and Iris was inside the sacred cavern. You want to do some pride draws later, but only if it cools down. You've done some sketches and that's it. Do I want one? Yeah, I don't know what I'd want a sketch of to be fair. You have a few kitties with flags. Actually, yeah, that sounds cool. Uh, hit me up later. I wanted to at least be in the defendant's box today to root you on. Well, it wasn't your fault. You're locked up this whole time. There's something more important than that, though. I have to ask you. Is trans... Oh. Kiara, she's drawing a crow with a pride flag. Nice. Ooh, a baby shark. Well, if you're drawing that, my favourite animal is a squirrel. Just throwing that out there. There's something more important than that, though. I have to ask you. Why'd you help your sister out as much as you did? Huh? If you had tried to get help at the secret cabin yesterday, you wouldn't have spent an entire day locked up in there. My sister? I felt sorry for her. What have I got to choose a difficult animal? Because I vibe with squirrels, the most difficult of animals. She was abandoned by her mother and never got any love from her father either. You'll, for me, you'll attempt a squirrel. I appreciate it. They're cute and sneaky. Damn right. Yes, but it was the same for you too, wasn't it? Yes. But I at least had Sister Bikini, who was like her mother for me. What flags would I like? Uh, trans and ace, please. Uh, well, trans and ace, or... I don't know if you could fit trans, ace and lesbian in there. But otherwise, trans and ace is fine. If only Dahlia had come with me to Hazakira Temple. I always... I always loved her. Dahlia was always so smart, so strong, she never complained about a thing. That's why I... That's why I promised her that I'd help her. Oh, oh hey Chloe. 
we get a shout out for Chloe as well. Are oh, you talking about the fake kidnapping case 11 years ago? Yes, I, I wanted to be useful to her in some way. Breed challenge accepted. Yeah, sorry if I'm asking you too much there. But, but, as usual, I was too cowardly. At the last minute, I ran away. Because of that, Dahlia's stepsister Valerie ended up Kiara, no self-defaming in my chat, thank you. You're all amazing. That was the case that wounded me so badly. Poor Terry. But things didn't end there, of course. Some people suspected that my sister was involved in the murder. She kind of was. Some people? You must mean... Yes, two defence attorneys. Mia Faye and Diego Armando. After poisoning Mr. Armando, he was getting too close to learning the truth. Dali even tried to kill the person who had unknowingly hit the poison for her. You. That's right. Sure was nice of the game to give us this summary. Iris. There's one more thing I have to ask you. Yes, what is it? On the night of the murder, the person that cleaned up the corpse of the victim, Elise Donem, was it, was it really you? Yes, it was me. That night, after ringing the lights out bell, I went back to my room. At around 10.30, I received a call on my cell phone. Beep. There's a problem. Come to the inner temple right away. I, I got on the snowmobile and headed for the inner temple. But... The path to the inner temple was cut off, right? Yeah, exactly. Beep. We can't just leave the body here. So, you've got to do this, exactly as I say. Got it? It was me. I was the one that received her body. The murder weapon had been left in her body so she wouldn't bleed as much, bleed too much. The staff that Mystic and Lee's always held. I knew it. So the actual murder weapon was the staff. Vamp, you were just popping by to say kudos for streaming in this heat. Really? Right, you'll go stretching me a squirrel soon. Don't know if I've got you on Twitter, but I'll be posting them there. Yeah, I think so. I mean, feel f if you're not following me already, um, obviously it's at Bisected Brioche. The link's down below and... Yeah, if you follow me, I can follow you back. You'll be posting it on your art Twitter and retweeting it on your norm. I'm quite, sh I'm pretty sure I've got you on one of those, so I should see it. I suppose you could always tag me if you like. Yes, that's right. I brought the body back to Hazakira Temple on the snowmobile. But why? Why do you alter the body? I didn't want anyone to know that the staff was the murder weapon. I didn't want to leave anything that would lead back to Misty Faye. So I dressed her in a robe, 
and stabbed her with the Shichi Shito. I wiped the blood off the staff's blade and left it next to her on the ground. Iris, just tell me one last thing. Okay, Columbo, we're on like the third last thing now. Tell me the name of the person that calls your cell phone. The real killer. It was Gordon Freeman. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I can't do it. I can't say he did it. Uh, I see. Victim staff updated in the court record. Has a sword hidden inside. The actual weapon used to murder the victim. D defendant? Y yes The judge is calling you. He wants to see you in his chambers. He has some questions about Dahlia Hawthorne. All right. Well then, I'll see you later. There's something I want to tell you. Oh, um, okay. There's something she wants to tell me. So it's true. Iris cooperated with the real killer. Maybe even from the very beginning. Phoenix. Mia. Um, uh, uh, how's Mia doing? Physically, I'm not worried. She'll recover completely. Yep, catch you later, vamp. I uh, hope you have a nice... Not too warm Friday. But emotionally, she's been hurt very badly by this case. Uh, I see. Y you don't mean she's learned who Elise Donim really was? Yes. I went to the medical office and talked with her. I told her everything I know. But why? Mary is stronger than you think. I knew she could take it. All of it. Vamp is asking Kiara what my name is. It's Erin. Thanks for asking. What do you mean by that? I want you to figure out the, that answer by yourself. The trial is about to restart. The real killer? Do you know who it is yet? Iris wouldn't tell me who called her, but still, I think that just maybe, I know who it was. I mean, it was clearly Dahlia Hawthorne. That night, the victim was killed in the garden of the Inner Temple, and the criminal wasn't just there by accident, which means that the killer knew of Dahlia's plan from the very beginning. And one more thing. The victim was moved to the Hazakira Temple side by Pendulum. In other words, the criminal couldn't cross the bridge. That means they were stuck on the inner temple side for almost an entire day. Exactly. So the culprit was someone that wasn't in Hazakira Temple the following day. That's as much help as I can give you. <gasps> what if the killer was Pearl? The rest of the battle is yours to win, or lose. Okay, I've got it. Thank you, Mia. Finally, it's almost time to bring this case to an end. No, Chloe, you're not the killer. What exactly did Mia see anyway? And who was it that actually killed Misty Faye? Whoever it was, I have to prove it. Me, all by myself. To be continued. Okay, I'm fairly certain the next checkpoint will be the end of the game, so let's do this. February the 10th. 3.36pm, District Court, courtroom number 7. 
grapple, grapple. Now then, before we proceed any further... I'm going to announce the results of the tests we perform had performed earlier. Tests. Yes, tests. On the bloody dagger that was found stuck in the pine twi tree. Oh yeah, that. I totally forgot about it. That's the weapon that Maya Fey used when she fought with the victim. So what are the results? Was it the victim's blood or? Due to time constraints, a full test was impossible. However, there's one thing we can say with certainty. Oh, a squirrel's a squirrel, fam. Don't worry about it. The blood that was on this dagger was not the victim's blood. That is all. Now then, let's restart this trial. Yep, trans ace and lesbian. I mean, just trans and ace is fine if you can't fit free on. So it wasn't Misty's blood on the dagger. Then whose was it? Dagger updated in the court record. Found stuck in a pine tree in the inner temple garden. The blood doesn't match the victims. I'm sure both the defence and prosecution know this, but this trial is rapidly coming to a close. Both sides will need to show some firm evidence with their claims. I understand, Your Honour. From what I've heard, the witness is dangerously weak, physically speaking. So, let's finish this quickly. Agreed. Very well, please bring in the last witness. It may. You just found out that my song is not on your SoundCloud. I have a song. Witness, please tell us your name and profession. Mayor Fay, my profession is, um... I'm the assistant manager at Writing Co. Law Offices. Mayor. According to the magazine I have here, you're a spirit medium with the crane channeling technique. I... I'm frightened. The Fey Clan. I don't want any more to do with it. Oh, Mayor. The pain in the Fey bloodline causes must be unbearable. Very well. Now then, Miss Fey, when the event occurred, you're in the garden of the Inner Temple. And... You witnessed the moment Miss of Miss Elise Donim's murder. You made the song a bass guitar song at the beginning of the year. Oh, I uh, don't know how I missed that. That's pretty cool. Is this correct? I... Um, uh, I didn't see... Straighten up this innocent young lady. Oh, frick you, Godo. Huh? Don't, don't validate him, game. Pick your head up and speak clearly. There's always time for crying later. But, but, I... See you, vamp. Your mother was killed right in front of your eyes. There's nothing you can do to change that fact. But there's something you can do. You can finish this. You've been watching this whole thing, right? You've seen the witnesses come out, and you've seen us squeeze the truth out of them. Now it's your turn. Let's hear your testimony. On the night of the crime, what exactly did you see happening? Yep, melting is absolutely prohibited. Witness, if you please. Yes, Your Honour. That's the inner temple. Ah, 
I was passing through the garden on the way to the spare, uh, spare prep room when it happened. Suddenly, someone struck me over the head. I stumbled and ended up against the stone lantern. I think I screamed, help me. Then something warm splashed over me. That's when I lost consciousness. Hmm. So you were struck on the head. I suppose it must have been this staff. Maya, the person who hit you. Oh, thanks to the hydrate vamp. It was Dahlia Hawthorne, wasn't it? Uh, I'm sorry, Nick. I just, I couldn't see. I don't know who it was. Maya, think hard. Sorry, Nick, but I really couldn't. Hmm. Can't say it was an especially good night for young ladies to be walking around alone. It seems that it'll be hard to determine the criminal through testimony alone. Very well then, Mr. Wright. Please begin your cross-examination. Maya, hang in there. She doesn't look well at all. Okay, let's do this. Who else was on the inner temple side that night? Well, Sister Bikini, of course. But I remember her saying that Iris would be coming later as well. On the other day after the incident, Edgeworth met Bikini at Hasakura Temple. That means she couldn't be the criminal. So then, did Iris come later like she said? Well, um, let me think. She seems confused. It's probably because she's so tired. Nope, I'm sure I didn't see her. She must have come while I was preparing for the training. Who did it? Who hit you? Uh, well, I didn't see who it was. I was hit from behind. You didn't see the person. But after that, your attacker was in front of you. How could you have not seen who it was? Oh. Let me think for a sec. I'm sorry. I just can't remember. Maya's really having a hard time. What should I do? Come on, Maya. This isn't making sense. Why didn't you see this person? Um, well, let me think. It was, uh... Oh yeah, that's right. It was dark. That's it. It was dark? It's not good to have so, so too much light around when someone is undergoing spiritual training. Hmm. Come to think of it, there was earlier testimony to that effect as well. So it was dark in the garden and on the night of the crime. Which is why she didn't see her attacker. I thought maybe she was trying to hide something, but I guess not. Oh, yeah. Is the uh, stream um, go coming through okay? I'm getting a few error message is Judging by the testimony thus far, the identity of the attacker was most likely Gordon Freeman. The spirit that was channeled by Lee Stone M. Dahlia Hawthorne. There were some frame rate issues, but it's stabilized. Okay, fair enough. Hmm. Very well, please continue with your testimony. What happened after you were struck on the head? What happened afterwards? My attacker was in front of me, blocking off my escape. I think. Y you think? After getting hit like that, uh, I was in a state of panic. There were only two things rolling around in my mind at the time. Well now, this is beginning to get interesting. So what are the two things rolling around in your mind? Um... 
My name is Mayor Fay. One plus one equals two. Yep, that's a very mayor answer. You see, for some crazy reason, I was afraid I was going to lose my memory. I knew it's odd considering my life was in danger, but that's how it was. That's not odd at all. Your actions are understandable given the circumstances. So, what did you do then? think you screamed, but you're not sure. Listen, I was a complete wreck. It was dark and I couldn't see my attacker. Was it a man, a woman, an adult, a child? I had no idea. I was scared out of my wits. Believe me, my dear, I'm certain I would have soiled my robes. Too much information, Judge. Too much information. I thought this person might attack me, so I, so I, anyway, I'm pretty sure I screamed. I thought that was, it was my last hope. Wow, it sounds like poor little Mayor really was out of her mind. But I wonder what she meant by my, by last hope. What do I do? Do I press her for more details? So you're certain that you screamed, help me? Um, I think so. Now that I think about it, yeah, that's going to be what I screamed. That's got to be what I screamed. Ah. It is all that strange trite for her to have screamed, help me. Kiara, no dancing option, sadly. <laughs> no, but something about that bugs me. Why would you face someone that's trying to kill you? and go through the trouble of screaming for help. All right then, witness. Go on with your testimony. Um, um, okay. Okay. We're just going to go back. And ask about the other option. Wait a minute, Mayor. What's this? My last hope stuff. Um, what? What do you mean by your last hope? No, no, no. That's what you said. You said, my last hope. Huh? What? I said what? Look, you're facing an attacker that you couldn't see and you screamed, right? You screamed, help me. Um, yeah? But you testified that you screamed that because you thought it was your last hope. Oh, well, you know, that's like, what do you call it when that happens? Mare's not doing so well up there. Oh, hey, Nolis. You thought Google had time zones wrong or something. You swear that top, the top of the hour tweet was 14 minutes ago. Oh. Huh. It's possible I messed up and uh, set it for the wrong time. <laughs> Jan, Mayor was calling for Obi-Wan. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Um, I... Oh, that's right. I remember now. I was facing my t attacker, but that's not who I was screaming at. What did you just say? Yeah, that's right. It was the person behind my attacker that I was yelling at. That's who I was screaming to you for help. Oh, you uh, forgot to watch Obi-Wan at your boyfriend's house. Oh yeah, the new Disney Plus series. How is that anyway? Uh, what is it now? I messed up. I didn't, I didn't mean to let that slip out. Huh? Witness? Are you absolutely sure of what you're saying? Behind the attacker, there was another person. Um, I am, um, well, uh, I, I meant to keep that part a secret. <sighs> what have I done? Huh. 
it takes a ton of pressure to make a diamond. That's what I always say. Pixel! Ewan McGregor's okay, but his delivery is really forced. Okay. Pixler, for those who don't know, is also in my D&D group. He plays uh, an owl in called, well, an owl in artificial called Gargoyle. Who my tiefling rogue, of course, respects. That's what I always say. A ton of pressure. You're in a course of law here. You can't make things up or try to hide things in this chamber. Witness, the information you just presented is vital to the case. Waiting to be banned when I figure out the pun. Oh, forced delivery. Okay, Pixel, remind me when we start the uh, stream that you're having my inspiration. I want you to add it to your testimony. I could see a man behind my attacker by the light of the stone lantern. A man? No less you're going to be uh, disappearing around half past because of a video call. Okay, that's fair. That's probably about when I'm finishing up anyway. Don't want to stream longer than um, half six. Who was this man? What? Well, y you see? I, I couldn't see. <laughs> yep, exactly. The man was Gordon Freeman. You couldn't see? She's used this excuse twice now. Well, you know, lantern light isn't very bright. Lantern light? Did you say? There's a great big stone lantern in the garden. They always light it when an acolyte is there for training. Uh, hey, you know what they say? Under the lantern, darkness reigns. So I could see the person that was further away, but not my attacker, who was closer. Plus, there weren't any other light sources in the garden at the time. Mm. Okay, I'm pretty sure the lantern wasn't lit, so we're just going to see if um, it says that's in the uh, court record. Actually, we're just going to press her on that this one last bit. <laughs> Thanks for the clip, Kiara. So, what happened next? I don't remember. Oh, you saved. You don't even remember that. No, I haven't got any idea. Uh, I really don't know what happened at all. That's too bad. I work side by side with Mayor for two years now. I can tell when she's trying to hide something by how she acts. And right now? I'm absolutely certain she's hiding something. Okay, uh, I think I'm... Yep, I forgot to check that one. Y you don't mean, was it? I didn't know it at the time, but I, I think it was probably blood. Is she saying that that's when Mr. Nim, who was channeling Dahlia, was stabbed in the back by the killer? At that moment, I was paralyzed with fear. I was just sitting there in the snow. I'm sure blood got on everything around me. Do, 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 do. Okay. Whoops, wrong person. Okay, this heat is making me do silly things. Hope this doesn't bode badly for D and D. Do do 
do, do, do. Stone lantern. Here we are. Was not lit. The kids do not think it was cool. So there was a man standing behind your attacker. Um, yeah. That man. He's the killer. He stabbed her from behind. He's the one who killed Elise Donim. Otherwise known as Misty Faye, your mother. The killer? Maya. You know who killed your mother, don't you? Um, what is the meaning of this, Mr. Wright? To be frank, Your Honor, I think she is in shock and still quite confused. That's why she hasn't noticed the huge problem with her testimony. Huh? What do you mean? What problem? Mayor, on the night of the crime, that stone lantern was out of commission. Huh? What? It's true. There was no light anywhere in the garden that night. Order! Order in the court! Mr. Goddo, explain this! Add the pureness of milk to the perfect clear darkness of coffee. Stir. That is the state of the witness's mind right now. A cup of cafe au latte. Invisible girl, coffee on tap, tis the life. Yep, God always has everything he needs. You know, apart from the... All the things he doesn't... C Café au lait? Is that even legal? <laughs> Mr. Trice's words are the milk and you're the spoon, Your Honour. Uh, I'm a spoon? I'm no spoony bard, I'll have you know. I get that reference. You must have noticed it too, Trite. This witness's mental state is highly unstable right now. It's not her to understand why she would make a little mistake like that. Objection! Sorry, but that's not gonna cut it. What'd you say? If there truly was no light in the garden, then there's a fatal contradiction in the witness's last bit of testimony. N Nick? May I? Recall the witness's statement about her attacker. She said that she didn't know if it was a man or a woman, an adult or a child. And yet, the witness could describe a person that was standing behind her attacker, and she quite clearly described him as a man. In other words, that would have to mean that Mayor actually saw our mystery person, despite it being so dark that she couldn't see the face of her own attacker. N no No, unless you want to see the coffee mug slide right past his hand and cram it sl crash onto the floor. <laughs> Maybe that'll be his defeated animation. Order! 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 What in the world does this mean, Mr. Wright? Sorry, I burped a bit there. Are you saying Miss Faye saw the real killer under pitch black conditions? Mayor's tiefling confirmed. Trite, do you have any idea what you're proposing? How could she have seen in the dark? There was no other light source at the scene. There are some things that you can only see in the dark, Mr. Goddo. Mayor, you did see who the killer was in the dark, and now you're trying to cover for him. C cover? For the man that killed her mother? There's only one conclusion I can draw from this. Pixel, a fey tiefling, it could never happen. <laughs> you know who this man is. Please, Nick. 
I don't know anything. Please, I'm begging you. Huh. You're talking a game trite. But let's see if you can walk the walk. It was pitch black. So what could the witness see? I'm calling your bluff. No, no, Nick, don't. But please stop. Mayor is dead set on protecting this guy. The man who murdered Mayor's long lost mother. But I can't let him get away with it. I'm a lawyer, an officer of the cause. I'm here to find the truth. All right, Mr. Wright. Time to show us what you've got. Who is this person that you say Miss Faye saw in the darkness? Okay, what would make someone visible in the darkness? Your Honor, my client was attacked by the darkness and in retaliation cast magic missile. Okay, I'm leaning Godo because, you know, visor. Oh my god, Godo wasn't um, accounted for. He uh, didn't show up until the after the first day of trial. It was Godo. Exactly, because his face is sponsored by Razor. <laughs> yep, he killed everyone with his mug, Chloe. Because it was pitch black, Miss Faye was easily able to recognise the ki was able to recognise the killer easily. I'm sure the court would like to see it for itself how this is possible. Yes. What? But, but how are you supposed to show us something like that? It's easy. We just need to recreate the conditions of that night. C conditions? Your Honor, the defense officially requests that all the lights in this courtroom be turned off. This is, but it can't be. I like the implication that um, Phoenix requested that and they someone just hit the lights immediately. Huh. Called it. That was a nice bit of deduction. Thank you. Tried. Well, everyone, this is the man that Mayor saw on the night of the murder. Order, order, order! Prosecutor Gotto, what's the meaning of this? Surely you must be shocked to hear yourself accused of such a thing. Why aren't you denying it? Huh? Godo pulls an undertaker and choke slams Phoenix. Yep, the juries behind Godo are probably quite confused. And yep, he's possibly like, he'll kill anyone who serves him bad coffee. Ha, huh, Your Honor, you're asking the wrong person. W what do you mean by that? If you've got a question, ask the witness. That's one of my rules. Well, Mayor, how about it? What you saw that night? Was it three glowing red lights? And then Mayor's like, there are four glowing lights. Well, witness, answer the question. E e you're wrong. Uh, I never saw that. M Mayor? I thought the person that was stabbed that stabbed my mother was a man. For a totally different reason. What? W 
witness? Mr. Wright? Stop your chattering, Your Honor. Ch ch chattering? If it's worth asking, ask a witness. That's one of my rules. All right. Well then, let's continue with the testimony. Please tell us how you knew the killer was a man. E e yes, Your Honor. I don't think the judge really has a point. The judge is kind of pointless. I, di I didn't realise it until after I woke up, but... Okay, witness testimony, the killer. When I came to, I was just lying there on the training hall floor. By the time I got back to the garden, the place had totally changed. The torches were lit and the body was gone. And all of the snow around the stone lantern had been carefully cleaned up too. Since the person did all that work alone, I just assumed it was a man. What? So it was after the crime took place that the witness came to think the killer was a man. Yes, that's right. I'm sorry, Your Honour. I... No need to apologise. It's as Mr. Goddo said. You're utterly exhausted. It's only natural you'd be a little conf confused. Okay, so I suppose they uh, do um, accept it is a really strange explanation. Okay, I was kind of hoping to have this uh, finished up, but it looks like it's going to go on a bit longer. So I'll just keep going to the next conti to be continued. And I guess we'll be picking up it next week. It up next week. Also, if you consider the situation you describe, it doesn't seem too much of a stretch to assume that a culprit was a man. Oh wait, there, there we, there the game goes, arguing that was sensible. Mr. Wright, proceed with your cross-examination. Exactly, Nerlis. Never change Capcom. Never change. Disclaimer. Please change. Thinking about it, Capcom um, published Breath of Fire as well. We're back to hot tea. Using that tea emoji and the new tea emoji. Ooh. And is that a pride tea emoji? Nice. Pride LGBT. Amazing. So you lost consciousness when you were in the garden. Is that right? Yep. I think I think it happened when the the victim was stabbed. So then, that, the person that carried you into the inner temple? It could only have been the killer. That's what I think too. So the killer carried Merit into the inner temple. Naturally the killer must have done it, right? Yes, I think so. But why would the killer tamper with the crime scene like that? There must have been something that the killer desperately wanted to hide. I... I don't know. It looks like she doesn't have enough confidence. I think I need to gather some more information before I ask her again. Okay, 
Okay. The torches were lit. Yes, that's how I noticed that the whole scene had changed. I'm going to say it was the killer who lit the torches. I mean, who else could it be? The killer probably lit them since it would be, be impossible to do any cover-up work in the dark. However, if that's true, there's one thing that still bothers me. Why did the killer go to the effort of moving the body? That's true. It's hard to see how that would be of any advantage to the killer. The only one who'd gain a thing from that would be the only person that was at the inner temple. Mayor. Very well, let me hear some more about the condition of the crime scene. And all of the stone around the snow stone lantern have been carefully cleaned up too. So you're saying the killer cleaned up the snow? It did look really odd. The snow was removed in an unnatural looking rectangular shape around the lantern. There are a lot of shovels around the inner temple, but they're all really heavy. Way too heavy for me to use. An odd fellow indeed, this killer. Why on earth would anyone want to take snow away? Well, there's one reason I can think of. Didn't you say that a lot of the victim's blood sprayed onto the snow? Y yeah The area I collapsed in ended up being splattered. In other words, the killer's purpose was to hide the bloody snow. I think that's the most reasonable explanation. Hmm, perhaps. However, there's something that's bothering me. If the killer just wants to hide the snow with blood on it, there was no need to remove that amount. That's true. He could have scooped up just the snow that was stained with blood. It looks like there are some mysteries behind this issue. But I think it, this will help explain them. So you're saying that you never saw the killer, right? Y yes. But are you set very clearly stated that you saw a man behind your attacker. Nick, I'm sorry. The killer certainly went through a lot of trouble. Moving the body by pendulum, manipulating the crime scene. But for what purpose? Why do all that? Maybe Mayor knows more than she's letting on. Hmm. Nervous. Frames are dropping like flies. At least the audio is good. Yeah, my internet was a bit spotty, so I'm wondering if it's that. Invisible, you're saying Kiara's stealing the frames. <laughs> to be fair, it might just be my uh, computer overheating. be some evidence about the East Stone Lantern, but what? I wonder... 
Nope, guess not. Okay, I see there's a lot of um, debate in the um, thread on who stole the frames from the frame jar. So why didn't Mayor have any blood on her? So you're saying you never saw the killer, right? Notice, you stole the frames, it was getting too chummy around here, referencing a show you don't watch. Oh, I'm not familiar with it. and recreation, Kiara. Fair enough. Okay, I think I might actually have to call it here because I'm stuck and I need to be done by half past. Just call it here. I was kind of hoping to have this, um, have the game wrapped up, but I guess that'll have to happen next week. Yeah, I might start a bit earlier next week just to make sure if I can. So 
sides. With any luck, it might be a bit cooler. Nerlis, you saw an animation of the clip once, but the characters are all people from a discourse. It does strike me as one of those conversations that works very well in a, dis a Discord format. Anywho, let's find someone to raid. Melting. So yep, yeah, uh, while this all loads, obviously I'll be back on Monday with more Breath of Fire. Uh, keep an eye on my Twitter feed for more news about my attempts to cast my teeth. And of course, now that my cat ears are done, I'll be going back to my uh, grounded wig. And working on my tea thing is. Oh, hey, Iris. You're just in time for me finishing up. Thanks for the hydrate and posture check. <sighs> Iris, of course, plays Ao. The competent rogue in our D&D uh, &D game. Uh, yep, thanks for giving her the shout out, Kiara. She has, of course, started streaming recently with a very cute VTube avatar. Invisible Girl, did you know you can die from overhydration? Yep, I was actually aware of that. More specifically, it came up in the case of a um, radio show or something like that. I had people try to dr drink as much water as possible without peeing. Although, as um, Kiara Strings points out, that it was also technically what also called drowning. Other fun facts about water: it is the most it is the world's most widely used industrial solvent. It is both technically both an acid and a hydroxide. Although that's not technically true because obviously if you um, neutralise an acid or a hydroxide with the other, what is what you get? Anyway, no one I really knows online. Okay, if anyone wants to suggest someone, oh yep, yeah, go ahead and suggest invisible. Well, yep, yeah, I'll take any suggestions really. Oh, Invisible suggests Lynn the Flareon. Oh, yep, someone I haven't raided in quite a while, actually. Oh, it's their birthday. Okay, I'm sold. Yep, I've got their... Uh... I follow them so I can see them there. They're streaming Super Mario World. Lovely stuff. Reading Lynn the Flareon. <laughs> okay, we're ready to raid. I hope you all enjoyed that stream. Sorry it was kind of short and sorry we didn't make much progress. As I said, hopefully I'll be a bit cooler and um such next uh, 
Friday. Um, hopefully I'll see you later on our next YouTube channel, which I'll just uh, give you a link to in the chat. So yep, yeah, hopefully I'll see you there for D&D. &D. Um, I'll be back on Monday. Hopefully with less heat stroke uh, for the uh, last part of Breath of Fire 2. And obviously I'll be throwing up a poll this weekend on what to stream next. And not much shit. That's about it really. Keep an eye on my Twitter for more stuff about cosplay. And uh, we're raiding in three, two, one. Let's go. If you're watching this on YouTube, like, comment, and subscribe. LOL.